polynomials, it is purely an extension topic. That's not to say you can't use the ideas, obviously, in a two-net question if you ever come across one. Uh, but it also is an extension two topic as well. And so we'll see the extension two part of polynomials probably the last thing we do this, this year. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see. Here we go. Some definitions to start off with. So a polynomial is basically just an, an algebraic expression. Um, so it has a whole heap of terms to different powers, but the rules are... Now, Pn doesn't equal zero. Now, that's trivial, because if Pn doesn't equal zero, then it wouldn't be there, and now the last term would be this one instead. So it's, you don't really need to worry about that. That bit's important, however, the next bit. The powers are always integers, and they have to be positive or zero. Power of zero is technically um, a power as well we can have with a polynomial. So all the P0, P1, P2, so the numbers in front, coefficients we call them. We know that word before from other things. There's no difference to any other algebra. Uh, so index, exponent, power, all means the same things. They're just different words we use for the, for the power. Index, exponent. Hence why we have the, uh, the curve, the exponential, because the pronumerals in the power. Another name for power, exponent. Okay, a degree or an order of a polynomial, those two words are interchangeable as well. So sometimes you'll hear me say order, sometimes you'll see, hear me say degree. I'm talking about the same thing. And basically it's whatever the highest power or the highest index. So a quadratic would be a polynomial of degree two. Leading term is the term that contains the highest power. So that's going back to here. That's why Pn can't equal zero. Because if Pn equals zero, then that wouldn't be the leading term anymore. The one before it would be the leading term and, and so on. So leading term is just the one with the, the highest power. Um, and it's probably called the leading term is because normally when we write polynomials, we don't write them like I've got it there. We normally start with the highest power. You, know, you think about how you write a quadratic down. You normally write the x squared term first and the x. Well, you don't have to. There's no rule that says you have to, but I guess that's why we call it the leading term. We normally start with the, the highest power. Leading coefficient, then, is just the coefficient of the leading term. So make sure you read the question. Make sure you know what they're asking. If they say leading term, then you include x to the power of, of whatever. If they're just asking for the leading coefficient, you don't include the algebra. It's just the, the number in the front. A monic polynomial is when that leading coefficient is equal to 1. And that usually makes factorising easier. We like monics. Okay. When a polynomial, we make it equal to something, usually 0, we call that a polynomial equation. You might remember when we looked at quadratics, we said there's a difference between what a quadratic function is, what a quadratic equation is. Same sort of idea. When it's equal to a number, we call it a polynomial equation. When it's equal to another pronumeral, usually y, that's when it becomes the polynomial function. The roots, again, the same as we saw with quadratics, they're just simply solutions to the equation. Or if we're talking about the graph, it'll be the x-intercepts. The zeros, remember the difference between zeros and roots? Again, they are the same thing. But technically, we have roots of an equation, but we have zeros of a polynomial, or of, of the function. Um, they're basically the values that make the polynomial equal to zero. And that's why they're the same thing. They are the solution. And sometimes we use the wrong words, and, and we call them zeros when we should be saying roots, and sometimes we call them the roots when we should be saying zeros. So again, just understand, they are basically the same thing, roots and zeros. All right, here we go. Quick little quiz. No cheating. No cheating and looking at the sheets. Which of the following are polynomials? Okay. Who thinks A is a polynomial? Oh. Oh, is that a hand that went up? <laughs> oh, just scratching your eye. Okay. So everyone's saying no. In that case, why? Right. 
we said all the powers had to be positive integers. So half, no good. No. Can't have fraction as a power. Okay, what about B? B, hands up. B for polynomial. Oh, no hands. But I, I got a power for the X, so what, why not? Right, it's on the bottom of the fraction. Can't have negative as a power. I mean, really, if you think about it, it's 4x squared plus. Not that you could expand out the x squared plus 3 to the negative 1, but you've got that negative power. Okay, what about the other way around? x squared plus 3 on 4. I can see a mixture. I can see people with hands half up because they're going, well, everyone else's hands up, so I better put mine up. I really don't know. Okay, yes, that one's fine. Yeah. Okay, coefficients are allowed to be fractions, so I can have a quarter x squared and so on, that's fine. And what about the last one, just the number seven. Hands up for polynomial. Let's see. Oh, oh. No, just because every other person, oh sorry, your hand was down. You go, nup, 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 and you're looking around going, everybody else has their hand up. Oh, okay. Honestly, what did you think? Well, okay, yes it is. Constants are polynomials, because you could if you wanted to write it as 7x to the power of 0. Okay, have a look at this one. Again, no cheating, no cheating, don't look at the sheet. Is that monic and what's its degree? Okay, so I hear some answers coming out. All right. Let's see what sort of opinion we have. Hands up for Monique. Oh, about half. A few more going up. Right, okay. Hands up. Oh, well, I don't need to say hands up for not Monique because obviously other people do. Let's see. What different answers do we have for degree? Three? Four? Okay. So we've got some saying three, some saying four. Let us see. Well, there's really only one way of doing it. That's expanding the whole thing out. But look what happens with those 4s. You get 8x to the 4, but there's a minus 8x to the 4 as well. So in fact, yes, it is monic, and it is degree 3. Okay. 